gang. What are we up to? Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Do you remember those early 2000s Nickelodeon sitcoms? You know, like Drake and Josh, iCarly, Victorious... Do you also remember those crappy home movies you made and you now loathe? Well, what if you combine those two in this internet gym called Jake and Hudson? It's a bad iCarly-inspired ripoff made by two kids. So let's take a look! Oh, I have a Smoothie Queen interview down the street. Can you finish unpacking the boxes and set out the furniture? Sure, whatever. Okay. Oh yes, already starting this awkward in the first 30 seconds. It's gonna be it's gonna be a real fun time, guys. Are you okay? I thought I saw a rat. <laughs> okay. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing with my life? And of course it's a freaking laugh track. Stop. Stop doing this. This isn't even funny. This is overdone. It's not- Oh my- Stop. <laughs> ah! I have a dairy- I mean a smoothie queen interview down the street. Could you lay the rest of the furniture out? Whatever. Get it? Because her acting is wooden. <laughs> Hello, I'm Amber Williams with Quickie News, bringing you your news, San Francisco reasonably quickie. Today, there are lots of rumors going around about the famous duo Splash Facers, Jake and Hudson. The two were very successful and made a huge profit from their account until just recently when the two's arch rival, Jarlene Madison, got their account shut down. Wow, two more heartbreaking examples of lives ruined by Russian hackers. I mean, we need to stop the Russian bots own Splash Face. It's getting out of control. And the fact that Splash Face is a faceless company, you can't blame it on anybody. So it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We need to stand up, guys, and take a, take a stance against Splash Face. Is, is this funny? Uh, no, it's not. Okay. I'm just gonna get you a coffee in the moment. Wait, don't forget about that bump on the staircase. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> How kind of them to hire a mentally disabled kid in their show. I mean, just amazing. Why is the intro like halfway in the video? I mean, that'd be like. Farzad? Why is his name Jake in the show, but his actual name is Farzad? I mean, the other guy's name is Hayden, so it's basically the same thing. I guess it's because Farzad and Hudson isn't as catchy. Huh. Oh. Well, didn't you say you had another interview tonight? Yeah, I was a coffee cart worker. Well, you like coffee. <laughs> Why is the laugh track after, well, uh, you like coffee, and that's not even a joke? This loser is stealing my boy Farzad's mad laughs, and it ticks me off. Oh. So where's the interview at? Actually, it's right here. We're supposed to send in a clip of us making coffee online. So where's the coffee cart at? Well, it's actually conveniently located in our apartment lobby. Great. <laughs> Once again, why isn't Laugh Track after our fan favorite Farzad's hilarious jokes instead of after this unfunny piece of white trash? I thought you were just gonna get grosser. Yeah, I was, but then I saw some Blix, which I couldn't live without. <laughs> some Nuju. Ooh, and I even got some- Hudson, don't you get it? We can't just buy everything we want anymore. We're living check by check. And if I don't get this job, we can't ever make a Splash Face video ever again. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you should see my man as I like that. It's... <laughs> Let's cut it off. Hi, my name is Jake Babu, and I'm applying for the coffee cart position in our apartment lobby, and I'm a coffee fan at heart. A coffee fan by heart? What does that even mean? You know what? Never mind. I mean, even our beloved Farzad can make mistakes, right? 
Hi, I'm Hudson, and I know this is my roommate Jake's interview, and I'm sure he made amazing coffee for you guys. I just wanted you guys to know what an amazing worker he is, and I'm not just saying that because we need the money. <laughs> he always does the laundry. He's an amazing worker. He, he's just, you guys would be lucky to have him. And I'm saying that out of the kindness of my heart. He's just an amazing guy, and he, he looks out for me, and I've known him for a long time, and he always just looks out for others, and he'll come in whenever you guys tell him to. He's dedicated, and he looks out for other people, and he gets the job done. And he deserves better than me, but since that's all he has, I at least want to give him this job. So please, out of the kindness of my heart, I'm telling you, you guys, it'd be amazing to have him. And he's just not an amazing... And he's not just an amazing worker, he's an amazing friend. You know, guys, if you're an example of the endless amounts of work and dedication that goes into each and every episode of the Jake and Hudson series, you can find that in the fact that he made up the emotional bit of the episode as he went on, Jesus Christ, how bad can you be? Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! Yeah! Another beautiful performance by our Lord and Savior Farzad, and you know what? I think that's Oscar worthy. And if he gets robbed again this year, I, uh, I'm not saying, you know, uh, go on a witch hunt, but some people need to die. What's wrong? I got the job! Oh my gosh, really? When do you start? Today, actually. Shoot! <laughs> Wait, don't forget about the- oh. I think I'm gonna like it here. <laughs> okay, that'll do it for this one, guys. Uh, this was a fun one, this was a fun one. So, uh, yeah, this, this is the end of it. We watched a crappy video. This is The Pessimist. So, I, uh, I'm not gonna do that. That's kinda generic, don't you think, guys? I tribute the salute to the Dark One, Farzad. I plea of thee, tease my body to carry out your will. For I am a coffee fan by heart. I am a coffee fan by heart. I am a coffee fan by heart. <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Um, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And if you could, please follow the Pessimist on Instagram. Uh, this one was a lot of fun to shoot, to make, to edit. Really is just a blast making it. And I hope you had as much fun uh, watching it. Now, I know in my last video I said that it'd probably take me a month to make each video, but if I do these more like a uh, shorter, more live action videos, I could probably crank them out like maybe every three, maybe two weeks, but probably not two. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Yeah!